A hormone is a tiny transmitter that tells cells to do certain tasks more often. Testosterone is one such hormone. Being the primary hormone of men, testosterone is good in normal proportions because it makes you more masculine. In the same way that more energy makes you stronger, greater muscular mass makes your hair thicker, more aggressive, and more self-assured, too low blood pressure has the opposite effect on you. Less energy means less strength, less muscle mass, less hair, decreased aggression, and blood pressure. A surplus will result in an excess of these things as well as some undesirable side effects such as a possible increase in the body's production of estrogen to match. Aggression was most noticeable in my mates who used testosterone when I was a teenager. They each had a situation when they hit someone they loved before quitting. Their levels of hatred and anger were so great that they quickly took on a life of their own, and they frequently lost control and destroyed many crucial relationships. Because of this, testosterone has a variety of exciting effects on parenting in general. Men's testosterone levels drastically drop during the first month of fatherhood, and fathers often have lower testosterone levels than non-fathers. Additionally, fathers with higher testosterone levels have a propensity to show less concern for their children. In other words, fathers with greater testosterone levels have a tendency to look and touch their children less. However, fathers experience significant increases in testosterone when they hear their child cry, which suggests that testosterone has other effects outside its apparent impairment of direct caring. Therefore, it appears that testosterone plays a part in protection. In aggression, testosterone also appears to be a key player. As a result of their rougher play than female monkeys, male monkeys expose developing female fetuses to male hormones. Their rates of rough and tumble play grow as a result of the class of molecules that testosterone belongs to. Males will play rougher less frequently if male receptors are blocked. Numerous monkey species experience an increase in testosterone during the mating season. When males compete with one another for females, Increased testosterone injections of testosterone cause aggression in monkeys, who are naturally more aggressive. When compared to people who commit non-violent crimes, violent criminals typically have higher testosterone levels. This is another illustration of how increased testosterone can increase violence. The medial orbital frontal cortex of the human brain contains androgen receptors and testosterone decreases MOFC activity, which may be one explanation for why this would work. If MOFC is the brain's emotional control center, Additionally, testosterone is important for male sexual activity. Male characteristics are affected by testosterone as they mature. It offers men more angular looks, brow ridges that protrude farther forward, central faces, and a more defined jawline. In studies with mice, the medial preoptic area of the hypothalamus has a large density of androgen receptors. Reducing this area of the brain will kill male sexual behavior and no injections of testosterone will restore it. Removing the tests from monkeys will kill male erotic behavior, but putting them back will restore it. This suggests that testosterone's binding to the MPOA is an important aspect of male sexual behavior. Men also tend to find more feminine faces more attractive when their testosterone levels are higher. This is because women with more feminine faces typically have higher oestrogen levels, which is a sign of fertility. It should come as no surprise that higher testosterone levels also indicate increased fertility.